All right, heat tape, heat cable, terminology, it's all the same thing. The differences come in when you're talking about the type of cable. So this is a constant wattage cable. There is a self-regulating cable. But this cable, constant, it has a steady heat output, meaning unchanging. So when you turn this on, summer, winter, produces the same amount of heat, okay? But this can be applied to roof and gutters, these ones, but there are others that can be applied for driveways, heated floors like tile and hardwood, pipe trace, and other applications. But I wanna tell you more about this product, roof and gutter application. The advantages of constant wattage is it's fairly easy to acquire. Hardware store, go down there, pick it up, take it home. Installing it, there's no electrical required. It's usually a plug and play kit. You just plug it into an outlet, fire it up, it's ready to go. If your area doesn't see temperatures below 20 degrees, this is actually a pretty good product. It'll get you through the winter and do a fairly good job. Some disadvantages of constant wattage heat cable is actually the heat output itself. It's limited. So when you get to temperatures of 15 to 20 degrees, the heat output on this is not enough. And it won't increase, won't decrease. So if you see temperatures below 20, self-regulating is often a better cable to work with than this one. Now, another disadvantage is the warranty. You only have a two year warranty on this. And life expectancy. You know, uh, six to seven years is expected. If you get beyond that, you're pretty lucky. We've seen this fail after three, four years, and these are pre-terminated kits, so they should last a while, but not always. Another disadvantage to constant wattage heat cable is even in the manual here, it states, below 15 degrees, very little melting will normally occur, and in very cold conditions, the cable may not generate enough heat in some roof sections to prevent meltwater from refreezing. So they already know that this cable is insufficient when you get below 15 degrees. And we've even seen this happen in about the 18, 19 degree point. So anything below 20 is kind of my rule of thumb. Go with a self-regulating cable if you're in those temperatures. Some additional things to be aware of before installing this. Do not install this on a metal roof. It'll often have issues or it'll short out. Another thing is don't let the lines cross themselves or touch themselves. We've often found homeowners installing this product and they'll have lines cross over each other. And anytime you take the accumulative heat of one line paired with a second, the, the, the heat combined is gonna overheat the core of the cable and then it shorts out. So installing this properly is gonna really help you to extend the life of that cable. I hope this information was helpful and informative. If you have additional questions or need information, visit our website at wasatchheatcable.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.